say put it just down it but she say but you no go give me no day Wow, wow, wow. You know what I was just thinking as I was listening to Itty Bitty? It is probably rude to still call you an upcoming artist because oh. I feel as though you've proved yourself again and again yeah. and again yeah. over thank the past you, two years. Right. Welcome, Do. Oh, it's so good to have you on set. Thank you. It was nice to be here. <laughs> this is a Friday nice feel on a Monday morning. I know, right? I'm <laughs> loving it. I am <laughs> loving it. <laughs> you know? No, <laughs> Turn off with sense. Chilling, chilling. <laughs> good to have you. Thank you. Thank Great you. to have you. How are you doing today? Man, I'm chilling, man. It was nice to be here. Good to be here. See beautiful ladies uh, on a Monday morning. Us too. We're looking at fine boys. It's not easy. Oh, you are so sweet. With the way you are, this is your charming way of conversing. And I'm sure that you're using it to, you know, that's yeah. how they used to break innocent girls' hearts all uh, around. Oh, wow, 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 wow. How do you know that girls are not broken my own heart? Has well, a girl ever broken your heart? Uh, of course, that's how I started how doing How many music, times? Uh, just once, man. Just once, and never again. But it was epic. I can't sound too late. Too. Really? Damn. Tell us about it. You said that was how you started doing music. Yeah. Tell us about <laughs> it. Basically, this is like 2011. I'm still in university at this time, and I was going out with a girl. We just ended she, on the bike. It was long distance. She was in another country. We ended. I was so sad. So sad. And I used to write music at that time. So I just started doing it a lot. I wasn't even going to class. And my guys were like, oh, I was going to record. So I just, that's how I started. I just started doing that recording. And the people around me gave me confidence to release songs. And that's how I started. That's interesting. I swear. And your, yeah. your sound is very unique. And I, I can't think of anyone that basically sounds like Dio. How did you find that niche for yourself? Man. I think just by constantly doing music, it's not like I'm so special, you know, no, everybody just has a unique sound, I guess. I used to rap, then I, I started listening to Nigerian music. I fell in love with, at that time, Whiskey, Bonner Boy, those guys. I was going to say Bonner Boy, yeah, I, I feel yeah. a bit of Bonner Boy. So I, I just started, at that, this is like, oh, 11 to 2011, I started listening to a lot of Jamaican music then to see how I could, could incorporate it with like my raps. I can't even lie, up until now, I'm still like learning. It's not like I've, I don't think I've reached the full potential. Yes, that's the word to me. And I like your yeah. honesty and transparency. Yeah. I mean, we're Thanks. all on a journey. We're uh, still learning. Journey. Even we are still learning every day. I swear. So who would you say are some of the people that inspire you and influence you in your journey? You've talked about mm -hmm. um, Nigerian artists. When you look uh, at internationally, who would you say I'll are say, people that inspire I'll say like you? me, Tupac, is someone who I really love a lot, especially because like he's, he stood for something. I feel like if you're doing music, right, you really have to stand for something. Like I feel that's how you last longer. At least that's my personal like fella, Biggie, Tupac, especially because he was like smart. People don't know this guy was so smart. He went to like drama school, could speak proper English. He loved acting, theater, and everything. But when he blew up, he was like a thug, tattoos everywhere, all these things. I feel he was just trying to like you know, speak for his people. So he had to look like what they would like for them to listen to him. And by the time they listen to him, his message spread across. So that's like, to me, the same kind of formula I took as I moved back to Nigeria. I wanted to speak for my people. I mean, I do soft songs, itty bitty footwork, I do that kind of, I also do songs that chop elbow, because I feel Nigeria, especially with elections and everything, like you have to speak for the people. But that's it, like I'll say Tupac Nito C2 is someone that made me want to start doing music in Nigeria, because like before, Nito C, there was the band, but when I saw Nito C, I was like, yo, this guy is too suave, too suave. Yeah. I have to be just like <laughs> wherever he is. I so I'll say two of them. Interesting. Of them. Yeah. Interesting. Now, one song that definitely made you blow, shall I say, is Footwork. Footwork. Did you expect the song to blow up the way it did? I can't lie. I didn't, I didn't expect it to blow up. And I'll say it's just because of like my friends, like the support. Because <laughs> some people have different things. I'll just say my own support, like a lot of my friends, I don't want to say my friends, but people around our age group, because there was, you know, 90s Baby, there's this show, 90s Baby, I feel that's where it blew up. A lot of people came for the show around, like, I'll say youthful people came. And that night, the first time I ever performed the song, is that like everybody there, they took that song like it was their song, because they made me perform it again. And maybe after, after they left the building, they told their friends, have you guys heard footwork? Have you heard this? And people came from England in December, and maybe that's how it spread. They started playing it everywhere, and I was performing everywhere. But I didn't expect it. I can't lie, wow. but I knew I was going, I mean, maybe not blue, but I just knew that my songs would get a wider audience, but I did not expect it to be full tour. All right, so is your family based in Nigeria? Yes, they are. Okay, now you've been back to Nigeria for how long now? Um, I grew up here, went to school, it's only university. I, I went to university in New York, but I, I left New York 2015, after I graduated undergrad, okay. 2014. 
Let's talk about the reception of your family. They say oftentimes uh, your prophet is not recognized in his own home. <laughs> Let's talk about the reception of your yeah, family to yeah, your yeah, music my, and your talent. Yeah, my, my mom, my, my, my mom at first, she didn't really like, even my dad. My dad and I don't really, yeah, and I can't lie to you, he's a mil he was a military officer and they're so, like, strong-headed. We talk, we already talk, it's always, it's always, it's always like, on me. But my, my mom... She supports me. I can't lie. Even even when she she didn't want to support me, she still supports me. You know, mothers now they carry you for nine months. They have to mothers love, love you. You know, and in all honesty, I think it's cause of her that I I really go as hard as I do. Cause of her, I sing about it in probably probably all my tracks. To be honest. Interesting. So, yeah. Now you said in Chop Elbow you felt the need to send a particular message across and to mm -hmm. stand up for something. So we're now veering towards conscious music. Mm -hmm. Tell us a bit about the message that you sent across on the song. Um. For Chop Elbow, I'll say like I'm I'm like I'm 26. I'm young, and police always used to stop me. Like, or this is what made me. I'm telling you what made me write that. So police always used to stop me for no reason, just because yeah. of my hair, because of because of my chains, tattoos. They'll stop me a lot of times. I'll give them small money, but there was one particular day that they stopped me and they took like 40k from me. I didn't have like my license. I didn't have some things, and I was so annoyed about that thing. Like. It was so annoying to me. And in my area, we don't have lights. <laughs> like, all the normal problems people go to. I'm not going to come here and say I'm a political. Like, you know, there's all guys who wake up every day, they read newspaper and everything. I'll just say, like, I feel like I'm a normal citizen. Like, I go through all the problems everybody goes through. And in my own opinion, I just done footwork. And I was going to drop another song. And all my guys are telling me, bro, you have to drop a hit. You have to drop this. But in my head, I'm like, yo, because of the anger, I'm telling you, like, there was a period I was getting stopped because at that time I just dyed my hair. I was changing the colors. I was getting stopped like, let's say in a week, I could get stopped like four different days in wow. one week. They even, they are, most of these guys that stopped me, they're, not, they're even my friends. But my point is at that point, when they took that money from me, I was so angry that I was like, see, whatever we're doing next, it's not going to be about, it's not going to be about music, right? It's going to be about this country. And we have to make it funny because that's the only way I felt. I could carry it. I couldn't carry it by really rapping. I could carry it by making everybody laugh. And it's so beautiful that you mm -hmm. took an experience, you know, that yeah, uh, ought to have hurt you or that hurt you, and you mm -hmm. decided to make a song and pass a message from yeah, that's, it. That's why I do music. Everything means something. Every song. So actually. let's talk about your Itsy Bitsy. What mm -hmm. inspired you to write Itsy Bitsy? Itsy Bitsy, uh, just a girl say so. I just I don't, I don't know if I should say this on national TV, but uh, just uh, when I caught out with a girl, she told me something, and I just said, wow. Something she told me, and that thing didn't leave my my ear. <laughs> it's a bit. Okay, you will tell us the thing at the after, end. You after, tell us on camera. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you off camera. Interesting. Exactly. But more importantly, we also understand that you have a show coming up, yeah, and I am yeah, so excited yeah. personally. Definitely going to be there. Is both you hands guys, up. You guys have to be there on the <laughs> but 15th. tell us a bit about the show. Um, it's for my mixtape. I'm dropping a mixtape um, October 1st by the grace of God, Independence Day. Grace of God. So on the 15th, that's this coming Saturday. I just want to do like a listening for all my fans, like all my all my people. Like I just want to do a listening. Work. How how good is your footwork? Uh, it's too good. Though. Okay, maybe so we should I'll do, do a, we should do a footwork video that oh, we put up on social media. Oh, Galala, yeah, yeah we're sure. gonna do that. But back to you and back to your show. Tell us a bit about that. Okay, um, on the 15th, everything pretty listening, um, exclusive listening. Tickets are cheap, just one five. Come, enjoy the music. It's a party, actually. It's not even anything. I don't think I'm going to perform. I'm just playing my mixtape for the people that come. And I just want to, like, see people and explain all the songs, you know? Just meet people, like my fans. Okay. Okay. okay, interesting. So how can people contact you on social media? Is there a website if people want to get tickets, etc.? Okay, to get tickets on plugrecords.ng. That's P-L-U-G-G, records. You guys have to know how to spell records. Or NG. <laughs> then um, on Twitter, Instagram, I'm Pretty Boy Dio, P R E T T Y B O Y Dio. Um, have I not said anything? Instagram and Twitter, yeah, the same thing. Facebook, D yeah. O. Okay, yeah. last one. What's your next hair color? Next hair color. Can I, I actually did, what, what red. color? Red. Maybe. Oh, red is the best color. Of the actually, world. I've never. Maybe. Do you know? I've, I kind of think red could suit you. Maybe I'll tell you do red. Well, I did. I was trying to go. This is meant to be grey, but <laughs> as you can see, it's not <laughs> grey. So. That is why. That is why sometimes you plant something this life and, and then it does to, change. To, to change. You know? But thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much, dear. Thank it's been you for an having absolute me. Absolute pleasure. To enjoy more of this, our will go get videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.